Uh, greetings once again. Sorry for the disturbance that occurred. We sincerely apologize for the disturbance that we experienced. So I'm still continuing discussing the economic plans of Mtwaga, the Democratic Alliance. Uh, we believe we are a political party with plans, and we believe that each and every political party must be voted based on its plan based on its economic framework that it presents and sells out to its people so that they endorse it. And we encourage our people to be wise when casting their votes. We encourage our people to demand uh, to know what exactly the political parties that are campaigning in our land seek to do for our people. That is why I will be doing a lot of this presentation to show our people the plans that we have as Mtwaga, the Democratic Alliance. Before we attain our freedom, there are bread and butter issues that needs to be addressed. And that is a reality. Our people are hungry. Our people don't have employment. Our people are languishing in poverty. Hence, any political party that comes into the political field of Mtwagazi has to have a solution towards this problem. Political parties, I be, believe, they are created to resolve the problems and the challenges. So I have talked of one economic activity that we have in Mtwagaz and that we are proud of, a God-given economic activity that needs just an enhancement. And... Uh, that is tourism. I have been talking about Victoria Falls, the potential it has to develop the local people and the nation of Mtwagazi as a whole in terms of uh, generating re tourism revenue, uh, a revenue that comes from hospitality, especially if we build good and attractive hotels and ensure that we portray our country as what it is and our people as who they are. We are a people with Ubuntu. We are respectful people. We are a loving society. And Zanu PF has portrayed us as people who don't love other races, people who are racist, people who are tribalist. That, that is not what Mtwagazi is all about. Mtwagazi people are good. Mtwagazi people are appreciative. Mtwagazi people are full of Ubuntu. Mtwagazi people are dignified people. That is the who we are. We need to project that image very well towards our people. So we have a lot of uh, potential, especially in the tourism sector. So, and then... Uh, Secondly, um, speaking about tourism, we have got a lot of national parks around Mtwagas. I will speak about one key one next to the Victoria Falls, which is Wange National Park. Currently, that is nationalized. That park is nationalized. And do you know why this government is nationalizing uh, strategic economic sectors? It is purely for looting. Nothing else but to loot. So they nationalize everything. They've nationalized the railways. They've nationalized the, 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 the tourism industry. They've nationalized the parks because they know that those parks are generating a lot of money. They're generating a lot of income. And that is where the, the, the money is looted are coming from. So that is why they are nationalizing those back. As Mtwaka, the Democratic Alliance, once we free our nation, we will ensure that local uh, economic sectors are under the local authority. And the national government is minimal or small power in terms of uh, the local economic strategic points or the local economic uh, sectors. So Wange National Park is generating a lot of income. 
tourists are attracted to that park there we have a lot of we are, we are blessed with a lot of animals we are blessed with a lot of elephants that is our property as mtoka the people it doesn't belong to the people of zimbabwe it doesn't belong to the looting government of zimbabwe that is why they are busy looting we have a lot of natural resources so we have a lot of uh, god given resources why because god loves us it's upon us to realize that and reclaim what belongs to us so that that is why it is important to stop the looting how do we stop the looting by ensuring that uh, first it starts by putting the positions of influence to our people and the mtwaka the democratic alliance will offer exactly that we will ensure that people who are governing uh, the areas of Wangi are local people, the Nambia people and the Tonga people. They are the ones who occupy positions of local governance in that area. Not imposed. We, do, we don't want to impose candidates. We don't want to impose people. Uh, people who should be working at paid bridge, they must be vendor people. People who should occupy the local council in that area, they must be local people because we will never go wrong in terms of ensuring that our communities experience local development, especially when the local people are the active participants in their natural God-given resources. This is what the government of Zimbabwe is not offering. This is what the MTCs and other political parties have failed to do. So as Mtwaka the Democratic Alliance, we are coming into the political field to ensure that we close that gap, to ensure that we take away the power from the elites and we return it to the appropriate local indigenous people with indigenous knowledge systems, which are key, by the way, which are key uh, in achieving local relevant development. Our people are capable. Local people are capable to govern themselves, and they, I can assure you they can govern themselves none other than any other person. So we face a problem whereby uh, in Zimbabwe everything is nationalized. They are nationalizing parks to loot, to loot them. They are nationalizing every key, even schools. They have nationalized those schools. They are busy looting. Our, our parents are struggling to raise the money for fees, and the government is busy looting that tuition. It is looting that tuition because there is no development in our local schools. Why isn't there development? Because the local money is looted in the name of nationalizing uh, local, uh, local, local governance. So we need to ensure that local government is handed back to the local people. Uh, we, we, I think I have covered a lot in terms of our tourism, uh, tourism potential. So I'm, I'm trying to show our people uh, our economic potential. We have a lot of uh, economic potential as a people. Right. Two, we have strategic borders in Mtwakas. We have strategic border posts that generates a lot of revenue, which is looted by this government, which is looted by this incompetent government. For example, uh, the paid bridge border post uh, statistics is saying about 3,000 commercial trucks use that border on a daily basis and more than 14,000 traders cross the port guess what those trucks they are paying something to pass through that port the traders are also paying heavy duty just imagine people who are importing their cars they are paying heavy duties so uh, we have uh, strategic borders that generate a lot of income and that income 
where is it going it is going to the national government it is looted by the national government it is looted by the zanu pf tax so as mtwaka the people we have a lot of economic potential if we can stand alone as a nation we can achieve a lot and i can assure you we can achieve a lot so uh, what, what what has been happening in our borders what has been happening is that recently i saw people celebrating mediocre uh, celebrating the little development that has been done in paid bridge and the people don't ask themselves where did this uh, empty government receive that money to develop that place if you go and research you will discover that it was built by loans by the way it's not a state of the art building and why are they developing uh, that porta post it's not in the interest of us as the citizens of mtwaka it's in the interest of looting they know that they are generating a lot of income through that border post and that is the purpose why they decided to develop it nothing else but to loot so I'm trying to show and reveal to our people uh, the economic activities of Mtwagas. We have a lot of economic activities. We can stand alone as a nation. We can stand alone as the people of Mtwagas. We can rule ourselves better than what is happening now. A lot is being looted day and night. Our resources are being looted day and night. And we need to wake up. And we need to wake up and occupy the political space in Mtwagas. You see, in our borders, there is a lot of congestion. In our borders, there is a lot of uh, corruption. Our people are paying, uh, are paying bribes. You pay bribes to cross. You pay bribes to come back. If you are a traitor, you are trying to, 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 to enhance your life. But in the process of enhancing your life, there are a lot of obstacles coming from the people who are supposed to protect you, coming from the government which is supposed to protect you. You see, so what will we do as Mtwaka as a Democratic Alliance? We will ensure that we reduce uh, tariffs that are, are paid by traders, that are paid by struggling tra traders who wish to practice safe businesses so that they can earn income from for themselves and their families. Our people are hard workers. In the midst of this economic decay, they still have plans. All they lack is political will. All they lack is a political party that will stand for them and that will stand for their interest. So, when we come into power, what will we do? We will make sure that uh, the border post, before they benefit the entire nation of Mtwagazi, they benefit the local people. Look at the paid bridge town. Look at the infrastructure. Look at the sewer system. Look, at, it, it looks like it is still a rural city. And as Mtwagazi Democratic Alliance, we want uh, to build modern cities. A paid bridge border post by virtue of being an economic hub in Mtwagazi deserves to be a city. One of the cities that will be recognized globally because it is a strategic a economic place. So uh, the, the, what, what is the other activity where the government is looting a lot of money? It is mining. We have a lot of mineral resources. We have a lot of chromium ore. We have a lot of coal in Wange. We have a lot of, uh, of craton, tin, diamonds, nickel, copper, uh, iron ore. A gas, cement, gold. We have a lot of reserves. But what is happening? Uh, all these minerals are looted. 
our team is looted and it is benefiting the few it is benefiting the elites the elites are the ones who are benefiting it is benefiting the likes of mnangagwa and his cronies in zano pf in fact these mineral resources if they are mined properly and properly accounted for we will not be struggling economically our currency will be the strongest one and we should be experiencing a lot of development but we are not experiencing that development why because our natural resources are looted the government is looting it is benefiting the elite at the expense of the general populace of mtwagas so mining is one of uh, our key economic activities in mtwagas it has a lot of potential to create a lot of jobs and ensure that our nation becomes economically stable you see what must we do as mtwagas democratic alliance we shall ensure that all the local authorities at least the own mines because we are targeting a local authority leadership we are targeting our, our our members to lead the councils of mtwagas be it rural district council or urban councils we are targeting to usurp those councils and guess what when we get them we ensure that those councils own mines and also we will ensure that we create an environment whereby the local people also own mines and we ensure that we issue high fines for the companies which are causing degradation when mining which are causing air pollution which are destroying our environment what is this government zanu pf government doing it is borrowing a lot of loans uh, from the chinese government and what is the chinese government doing in turn they are practicing unsafe mining destroying our environment so we want to fight against that as mtwagas the democratic alliance also we have got timber uh, you see when i talk about timber it becomes very very painful to me there is a lot of timber that is taken from Matepelele North uh, in Lubane, and that timber is sold in Harar. You see, that timber is taken from Lubane, and it is sold by a company in Harar. It is benefiting a company in Harar. That company is in twenty-five. Conard Road, Avondale, Harar. They are taking the timber from Matepelele North, which is supposed to be benefiting the local people of Matepelele North, and they are selling it in Harar to benefit the people of Harar. The people of Harar are employed because of the natural resource that is collected from Luban, and it is sold in Harar benefiting the Arara people and our people are unemployed at Luban. Your timber is taken from Luban. What is the most painful aspect about Matepelele North is that it is one of the richest uh, provinces in terms of natural resources. But unfortunately, it is rated as one of the poorest provinces. Why? It is because its resources are taken away from it and they are looted somewhere else. That company uh, which is producing timber that they are getting from Lubane, it is benefiting the people of Arar. That is what the 1979 Grain Plan seeks to, to, to achieve. That is what it has achieved. So that's why uh, we, when, we, when we say to people, there is a lot of tribalism that is perpetrated by this government. Some label us as tribalists, but that is the truth. There is a lot of tribalism perpetrated by the current regime. It is not in the interest of our people. It is not working for our people. Ask yourself in your area, what has ZANU-PF done? 
if you have gone to other developing countries, countries which are smelling and experiencing development, ask yourself what Zano PFE has done for the past 40 or so years. They have done nothing except looting. When they inherited power, railways was functioning, Blawayo was the industrial hub, uh, Mtwagazi was the largest uh, producer of anything you can think about in agriculture. But what did they do? They deindustrialized uh, Bulawayo. They destroyed our railway uh, company, which, which was one of the best in Africa, by the way. You see, and now they will tell you of economic sanctions that are imposed to them. Listen, the development that they inherited from Smith, he achieved it under economic sanctions. West, those, those were the worst economic sanctions. The worst ever experienced economic sanctions. So the issue of saying we are not able to develop the country because of economic sanctions, it's one of the stupid issues. Even if there were no economic sanctions with the caliber of leaders that Zano PF has, the country will be at standstill. The country will be at standstill. Mark my words. So these are the issues that we are fighting against. We are fighting against the companies uh, that benefit from our resources. We are fighting against our children being taught by teachers who are not coming from Twagas, teachers from Mashonaland. And when we speak like that, people say, you know, these guys are, tra- uh, are, are, are against uh, any non developed teacher. No. We are against Shona Supremes. Not any other language. Shona Supremes. Why, 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 why are they Mashonaland teachers in Matebeleland in the first place? Why are they teaching the infants? They don't even understand the local language. What is the purpose of them existing in our land? You see, that is what we are fighting against. What is the purpose of this Harare company selling the timber that is produced from Lupane in Matepelele North? What is the purpose? So this is what we are fighting against. That timber must be sold locally. Why is it sold in Harare? Because they want to loot your resources. Lupane people will remain poor while least the Arara people will be thriving, working. Employment is created there. That's what they were doing when they deindustrialized the Bulawai. Their main aim was to industrialize Arara, which backfired terribly. We don't want such kind of a government. So, we the other economic uh, activity that Mtwagazi can, people can rely on is agriculture. There is a lot of potential. We have massive land. We have uh, land with rich soils, plenty grazing land, enough water underground. Even if rain does not come, we are assured that we can still practice agriculture, particularly if we elect a responsible government. If we elect a government that knows what it is doing. So it is very important to ensure that you vote for Mtwagas Democratic Alliance. Come 2023 general elections, Mtwagas Democratic Alliance must be your choice. Um, so, as I have said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, We are a country that is very rich economically. There are a lot of uh, economic activities that we can take advantage of to develop our nation. In fact, with a corrupt free government, with a government that has good administrators, with a government that understands numbers, with a government with capable politicians, with a government that has the people at heart, we can share our national cake and experience a viable 
uh, economy and experience a viable and a healthy nation. As we are speaking now, our nation is not healthy. Uh, our people are unemployed. Our roads are at a sorry state. Uh, you see, when there is no economic development, uh, everything crumbles. When there is no economic development, everything crumbles. When there is no economic development, people suffer. So, we need economic development in Mtuakazi. We need now to wake up as the people of Mtuakazi and ensure that we reclaim our political space. Everything that I was talking about, which is wrong economically and the solutions that I was proposing, they can only work when we have the political bow. I'm telling you, even if we group ourselves into groups without political power, we buy our land, uh, we invest, we are not safe. Because who knows, maybe that land which you claim to have bought, the government made a deal with China a long time ago to reclaim it in case it fails to pay uh, loans that it owes to China. We know that uh, the current government has borrowed more than 8 billion US dollars in loans that they are failing and struggling to pay. And its national budget is less than 2 billion. We are not aware of how much loans have they taken from China. The most painful thing is that those loans taken from China, they were not taken to develop uh, the country. They were taken to buy a campaign material for ZANU-PF. They were taken to blind people. They were taken to, to deceive people rather than ensuring that they provide development. So we are owing, the nation is owing the money that was used to buy the campaign regalia for ZANU-PF. So it is time we demand change. And MTA, Mtwaka's Democratic Alliance, is saying enough is enough. It is time we reclaim our political space. It is time we give power back to our people. It is time we retain power to us. We mustn't neglect political power. We mustn't neglect political influence. Mtwaka's Democratic Alliance exists to persuade our people to participate in political activities, to participate in political, I will emphasize, I'm inviting all of you to participate in political activities because they determine what you will eat. They determine your influence in society. They determine your future. They determine what you will be. Politics determines every aspect of our lives. Thank you very much for those uh, who tuned live with us. Uh, I understand some you are going to watch our videos later on. Uh, we are very appreciative. We see a lot of you are watching our videos. Thank you very much. Make it a point that you invite a lot of people to like our page. You share this information with a lot of people so that we can be known to the to the whole of Mtwaka. There are a lot of people who wants to hear about us. Everyone we have heard about us, they are impressed about the who you are. And I'm inviting all of you to ensure that this page spreads. Uh, we want this page to be our medium of communication. So if you don't want propaganda about us, if you want relevant news concerning Mtwaka's Democratic Alliance, tune on to our Facebook page. We have got also our YouTube page. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube page. We also have um, an account in Twitter. We also have an account in Instagram. Very soon those accounts, they are live. As we, I mean, those accounts are working as we are speaking, but we want to make sure that as we are broadcasting in the future, we broadcast concurrently. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Mtuagazi. God bless Africa. Thank you very much. Libe lobusugo buhle Mtuagazo mtle. Yabong.